dear students today i am going to explain you about operating system this is the last topic of this chapter an operating system is an interface between user and hardware an operating system can be considered to be a resource manager which manages all the resources of a computer here resource means uh, hardware including central processing unit random access memory hard disk network and other input output devices means uh, whatever the devices attached with computer like keyboard mouse and storage devices these all devices are managed by operating system it also controls various application software and device drivers manages system security system security means uh, like we can set username and password for the operating system like here in this uh, windows operating system uh, i can make uh, admin user and simple user and a guest user and handles access by different user access by different users means how the users use this computer like uh, in windows operating system i can make child user a child user has uh, limited rights like uh, a child user can uh, uh, means only work in a computer and uh, the child user can use software but uh, the child user could not uh, uninstall software from the computer or child user could also not install any software and we can specify rights for accessibility of software for the child user it is the most important system software example of popular operating system are windows linux android android macintosh and so on the primary objective of an operating system are twofold the first is to provide services for building and running application programs when an application program needs to be run it is the operating system which loads that program into memory and allocates it to the cpu for execution when multiple application program needs to be run the operating system decides the order of execution like here i can uh, execute this software now this is the task of operating system how the operating system manages all the softwares in computer like here this time i have opened microsoft word microsoft access this one google chrome acro ye yeah, uh, fox id reader and folder so these uh, all tasks are uh, managed by the operating system now here uh, one term i explained you just now the first is to provide services for building here services means cpu resources memory memory means ram uh, and running application uh, building and running application programs so like uh, here i can uh, make a file and uh, now this line when multiple programs needs to be run the operating system decides the order of the execution means uh, like uh, these all things are done virtual mode like right? this time i am uh, i can open different different types of uh, softwares here but this is the task of the operating system how it manages them the second objective of an operating system is to provide an interface to the user through which the user can interact with the computer like here this is the interface here uh, using start menu i can open the software like here i can go to the desktop directly and uh, this is the task bar of the operating system a user interface is a software component which is a part of the operating system whose job is to take commands or inputs from a user for the operating system to process one word is here i used process a program a process means a program is in execution state like here i am uh, uh, working on uh, microsoft word it means uh, uh, this is the process here means this software is running this time there are different types of 
operating system based on user interface user interface means the screen of the software through which user interacts next one is first is uh, first type of user interface is command user interface in command user interface user works using keyboard only for this user needs to learn keyboard shortcuts command based interface is often less interactive and usually a user to run a single program at a time examples of operating system which includes interface microsoft disk operating system and unix i can show you disk operating system here cmd nowadays it is a part of the operating system dos here like here i can search the list of directories here it is showing in this way here now one point i explain to how uh, what the meaning of one task at a time like here if i have to uh, make a file here just now i have to type copy con this command is it is used to create a file file 23 the name of the file now some data i will type here computer then if i want to save the uh, this file just i have to press control z key that hit press the enter key now i can uh, see this file like here if i type here file 23 okay it is not showing here this one and if i want to create a folder using uh, this command md i can create a folder here i can type here i have to type here md means uh, make directory then hit the enter key then you can check the folder using this command cd command cd new folder there are so many commands of disk operating system but uh, this is the you can say base of the windows operating system nowadays it is coming uh, with the along with the windows operating system next is graphical user interface graphical user interface provides users what you see is what you get feature the primary input device for gui is mouse see this one here i am using the mouse pointer i can open a file i can open any type of software this one here and uh, if we need to open any file for this we have to double click on the file icon like here okay the gui base windows operating system in this windows represents running program and icons represent as file like in this way if i want to open any software there are lots of icons in this desktop just you double click on that icon it will open a software okay it is taking uh, some time because uh, i am running many software at a time in gui based softwares anybody can work because they are easy to use easy to understand and easy to handle examples of operating system with gui interface includes microsoft windows ubuntu fedora macintosh and among others next is touch based interface nowadays uh, we all use smartphones tablets and some personal computer those have uh, Uh, touch base interface and uh, in this touch base interface we work on basically on a screen this screen means uh, a user provides input to the operating system means only on this screen the user provides input to the operating system means input means uh, like uh, just drag and drop the icon and uh, means uh, whatever the file you want to open you can open uh, a file using a finger touch and uh, you can type using a finger so which are interpreted by operating system as commands like opening an app closing an app dialing a number scrolling across apps and so on examples of popular operating system with touch based interface are android ios ios uh, basically runs on apple uh, means uh, ipad or iphone Windows 8.1 and 10 also support touch based interface on touch screen devices. Next type of interface is voice based interface. 
Modern computers have been designed to address the needs of all types of users, including people with special needs and people who want to interact with computers or smartphones while doing some other tasks. For users who cannot use the input device like the mouse, keyboard, touch screen, modern operating system provides other means of human computer interaction. Users today can use voice based commands like uh, we can search video in YouTube using voice based commands and uh, we can use voice based commands to type on the software using Google input tools. Some operating system which includes voice based interface control to users include iOS, Android, uh, these are the app, apps, Google Now apps or OK Google. Nowadays, uh, one operating uh, one app is uh, Alexa, Microsoft Windows, Cortana, and so on. Next one is a gesture-based interface. In this interface, some smartphones based Android, iOS, as well as laptops lets user interact with the device using gestures like waving, tilting, eye motion and shaking. This technology is evolving faster and it has promising potential for application in gaming, medicine and other areas. Gesture based interface uh, basically when we used uh, like uh, our camera sends our finger means like uh, when we show five fingers to the camera automatically it captures the image. So this type of uh, means uh, uh, taking input based on gestures they are used uh, in gesture-based interface. Thank you.